gentlemen, I present to you Bob Johnson, Ken's Rost. Ken's <laughs> Rost, Bob Johnson. Our guest of honor up here, please. Uh, Mr. Woo! <laughs> and, and meanwhile, I have a request from another guest who wants to be here to enjoy this with you. Oh, oh yes, it's little Ken. <laughs> We were we've been very concerned about you. You know, there was a little incident at Dave's at our party at Dave's house, and then a couple weeks ago, <laughs> back here there was kind of a little accident. So I'm glad you're okay. But I just wanted to get you this chair so you can sit down and enjoy this. <laughs> Back in your car when we're finished. <laughs> Ken, what can I say that I haven't already heard about you? I don't know. And most of it, I've heard from you. <laughs> Ken is known as Mr. Toastmaster. Mm -hmm. A couple years ago, in the period of one year, he visited 65 different clubs. Wow. Oh, and in Portland, he said that he visited 35. Oh. You know what? They sent him back. <laughs> uh, and now he's planning another trip. He's planning to go to, let me back up. When I did the first, he was going, he was taking that world tour, that world cruise. He got as far as the Netherlands to enjoy a birthday party. Everybody sent him back again. Yeah. <laughs> now, this summer he's planning even another trip that I just found out about. He's going to visit parts of Europe and Switzerland, I believe, and he's going to take a cruise up above the Arctic Circle mm -hmm. to witness the Aurora Borealis in the Northern Lights. Mm -hmm. and he's probably going to try to visit a club there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And they'll probably send him back. Yeah. <laughs> Which would be a good thing, because we do enjoy having him here. Yeah. We enjoy Ken's sense of humor. And we really enjoy it when he panics, trying to figure out how to pronounce Adrian's last name. <laughs> Ken lives in Carborough. Now, Carborough has a reputation all its own. <laughs> which I politically won't get into. But he had to have some trees removed from his yard. And his neighbor from across the street came across and advised Ken of the environmental impact. Ken looks at him, he looks across the street, said, you know, before you moved in, that lot was full of trees. <laughs> yeah. Then the trees are gone. And you have a house. It's made of wood. <laughs> I think Ken's trying to get sent back from Carborough. <laughs> Ken, you don't have your hat on today. You know that brim hat he has the brim turned up on? Kind of reminds me of Rocky Balboa walking through the streets of Philadelphia. <laughs> and he came up with this prize called the Cupcake Award. <laughs> cupcake, what's that all about? Cupcake. And that was something out of his own pocket. Why couldn't it be a, a, an award for going above and beyond a, an achievement award of some sort? <laughs> but anyway, for being a good sport, I got your own cupcake award right here. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Jay, what's going on? <laughs> there was two here before. <laughs> Ken, thank you for being a good sport, and it's a whole lot easier to give you a toast 
than it is to roast you. Oh, <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.